All right, guys, here's another problem we're working on on this bike. Um, I noticed that the bracket here that holds the speed sensor on was broken. It looks like somebody probably broke a chain and it came up and it broke this bracket off. So it was JB welded on uh, when I took the chain off. I noticed it. Um, but what was happening, and it would actually have worked, but they didn't JB weld. It looked like almost they, like they tried to TIG weld it first, and it didn't work. And what it did was it built the bracket up too much. And here's part of it. It sat too far out and wouldn't let the speed sensor go around locking marsh or nut here that holds the sprocket on and register on the speedometer so the speedometer wasn't working so what i did to test it i took this speed sensor off i wanted to make sure the speed sensor was good and i ran it on my drill here or yeah on the drill around the speed sensor with this piece and it actually worked and the speedometer registered. <clears throat> so I knew my speed sensor wasn't bad. So I went online and found a new bracket to put on. Now the problem with doing this bracket is I have to drain the oil which I just changed and I have to take this um, chain sprocket back off because there's one nut or one bolt behind that chain so i have to take that off and drain the oil and i got a new gasket for this as well so we're gonna switch that out we're gonna have to pull the um, shifter off and remove everything there drain the oil replace that and hopefully we can uh you know, I just put the speed sensor bracket that I had uh, back on it. Um, so hopefully we can get this to go on. Okay, not have any, find anything else that's broken back there. Um, I don't think anything else is. Um, so hopefully we can get that on and get our speed sensor to work and not have any leaks here on this shifter. Okay, so I broke this loose. Um, while the oil's draining, I'm going to take this off. Get my fingers out of the way. And see, I probably have to see if I can get this off without doing anything to the chain at the moment. I'll have to adjust the chain in a little bit. Alright, so now we can see the one screw hole back there it's it's actually a phillips screw so i'm gonna get my impact driver and see if we can get that out okay i don't know if you can see in there but i used my impact driver got the screw broken loose taken out and i've said before if you don't have one of these impact drivers and you're working on a motorcycle before you do anything get one of these um, i'm sure you can find them at harbor freight um, I've had this one for a long time. Don't remember where I got it. Um, but uh, it's definitely a must on taking out screws and stuff on these bikes. Um, just save you a lot of headache. All right, so I'm gonna take the shifter off next. Um, looks like it's probably a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna take that off and then we'll start taking the rest of these uh, bolts out that hold this piece on. All right, just pulled the cover off. You can see here where the shifter mechanism sits in there. And uh, so we're going to pull that gasket off of there, clean that up a little bit. It looks like some sludge or something inside. Actually, it looks like RTV. Looks like somebody RTV'd this gasket up. Um, or smeared some around it so that it didn't leak. Um, looks like it took a pretty good shot. <laughs> I mean, to break it up like that. Um, 
So it's another reason you maintain your chains and uh, you know do routine maintenance on your bike. Um, this is exactly why here. So uh, let's get this gasket out of the way here. Like I said, I see the gasket is ripped. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and get ready to put the new piece together on it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you something real quick. I'm sure if you guys are like me and you're working on something, you like to see how it works. Well, here's how the shifter works. It has those little forks that go in there. And you click down and you click up and that's how it shifts. Um, so it's kind of cool to see how the little mechanism works in there and um, ratchets around and you know shifts through each of the gears. So then if you ever have any problems shifting, sometimes you know what to look for if you kind of know how it works. So uh, I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna get the gasket ready. Um, it's actually, I didn't realize it until I started working on it, it's actually missing a couple bolts. Um, so I'm gonna have to try to go out and see if I can match up some bolts for this. Um, and, uh, you know, then finish putting this back together. If not, I can go ahead and put it back together because the bolts that it's missing are the upper bolts up here and I can get those in with, uh, you know, later on if I need to, if I can't find those bolts and I have to order them, I can just take this cover off, replace those two upper bolts and be good to go. Okay. So I got the cover up there for now. I have to get two bolts, one here and one here. I'm taking the bolt out of this one up here to match up with me. Hopefully we can find one at the hardware store or somewhere that will work and that will have the same thread pitch and everything um, in the same length. So that's what we need and uh, we'll be ready to button this back up be able to put everything else back together. Let's get this thing finished. All right, be back. All right, we got the bracket back on. I went and got some bolts here for the two that were missing. Got I put the Speedo bracket back on. So now we can put the Speedo sensor back in and get that little screw in there. So I put this screw in and that brings the speedo sensor so much closer to that piece that it needs to read than what it was. Um, I mean, it's no surprise that it wasn't picking it up. So um, I'm gonna put this screw back on. I got the uh, piece bent down here, uh, that retorqued. We'll have to adjust the chain when we get it off the lift, but I think we'll be ready to put this back on and hopefully we have, um, the Speedo should work fine. Now we are sorting out another problem with this bike. I think it has a bad um, throttle body. Um, the piece right here, the solenoid that runs, the, well, I guess it's this one up here that runs the secondary um, uh, butterflies is not working properly and I'm getting a code 62, I believe it was, which is saying this sensor is not reading. So um, I wound up, the same guy that I got this bracket from, wound up getting a throttle body from him really cheap in case I need it. Hopefully I don't, but I'm gonna, we're gonna check out these wiring. I have everything disconnected to the computer, so I'm gonna ohm out these wires and um, make sure they're, um, you know, they're picking up. I did notice here that there are some wires that had looked like they got cut at some point, um, but they look like they're all connected well. So we're gonna check this out here in a little bit. I've got a lot of other stuff going at the same time. So where we're at right now, we're gonna button this up, get this screw back in, and the whole wiring deal here for the throttle bodies will probably be in another video but um, right now we're getting this wrapped back up we're going to put the oil back in the bike and uh, get all this wrapped up for now all right covers back on so it should be good to go 
Uh, shifter's back on. I'll probably have to adjust this to my foot because it wasn't in the right spot to begin with when I test rode it, but just stuck it back on for now. Um, and one other thing I wanted to say was down in this cover that was broken, you can still see a piece of metal sitting in there. Um, so all this metal was floating around in here at the bottom. I don't think much oil gets in this. Um, I don't even know how the oil really gets into it, but because um, I don't see any holes anywhere for the oil to go through, but it does have some oil in there. Uh, that couldn't have been good for things, but luckily it was all stuck down in the bottom. It didn't look like it was anything floating around um, that could have gotten back into the oil system. Um, so yeah, it uh, took a beating and uh, yeah, again, do your chain maintenance. It's worth it. All right, so we're gonna uh, readjust the chain, put the oil back in the bike. I'm not gonna record that because uh, I'm not gonna do the final adjustment to the chain right now. I'm just gonna tighten everything back up. And I've already gone over how to put the oil back in the bike, or put oil in the bike. So yeah, so that's where we're at for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and um, be more to come to this Ninja build.